Smugglers are always looking for ways to sneak things past airport security. People have tried to smuggle medicine, food, clothes, jewelry, money, and even animals to trade for money or for their own personal use. In fact, you'd be surprised at the stuff that manages to get past customs. Back in January of 2018, smugglers tried smuggling the most interesting cargo into Hong Kong International Airport. But the cargo was big and aroused suspicion. So, airport security decided to take a look inside. And what they found turned out to be something unexpected, but at the same time quite beautiful and alarming. Working in airport security is interesting, especially when something unusual tries to get past customs. Customs officials were curious about a series of flat shipping crates that had arrived at the Hong Kong International Airport. After studying the shipping label, one of the customs officials decided to take a look inside. A series of small, plastic, semi-transparent boxes were lined up nice and neat inside each of the crates. To the untrained eye, it looked like containers some restaurants give for takeout orders. But there were hundreds of animals packed inside these containers, and they were scurrying around, wondering what was going on. Officials opened the boxes up and discovered that they were filled with a bunch of pig-nosed turtles. Authorities estimated that there were almost 600 of these rare turtles and they were being illegally trafficked. Fortunately, airport security got to them before the wildlife traffickers got their hands on them. The creatures were thousands of miles away from home and getting them back would be a challenge. Unfortunately, this wasn't a rare occurrence for officials. These types of turtles have been rescued from smugglers before, but traffickers have repeatedly tried to smuggle the turtles into Hong Kong and it was going to take months to prepare them for their return trip. Since 2010, more than 35,000 pig-nosed turtles have been confiscated in Hong Kong and Indonesia. Ironically, this vulnerable species is protected by Indonesian law and can't be traded, but smugglers still find ways to smuggle them out of their natural habitats. And given that they're small enough to fit in the palm of one's hand, they're virtually defenseless and rely on humanity for help. In January 2018, the Hong Kong International Airport seized shipment of these turtles three times. Over 2,000 pig-nosed turtles were rescued during these three separate incidents alone, but they're in such high demand that smugglers continue to try, and it doesn't bode well for these harmless-looking creatures. The turtles are often kept as pets, but in some cases the reasons for acquiring them are sinister. They're used in traditional Eastern medicine. However, other times the turtles will be turned into a delicacy so people can consume them. According to the International Animal Rescue IAR, Pig-nosed turtles are often taken in Papua New Guinea and put in incubators to hatch more turtles. Fortunately, these turtles had a happy ending when a group effort allowed the turtles to return home. It was a three-day journey home and members from Kaduri Farm and Botanic Garden in Hong Kong, IAR in Indonesia, the World Wildlife Fund Indonesia, and government officials in Hong Kong and Indonesia worked together to make the trip back possible. The turtles flew five hours from Hong Kong to Jakarta, Indonesia and nine hours to Papua New Guinea. Then they were driven for 10 hours, placed on a boat, and taken to the area where they were designated to be released. Fortunately, every turtle made it safe and sound. Community members in the area all played a hand to ensure the repatriation went smoothly. Everyone smiled as they held the turtles in the palm of their hands and prepared for the main event. They all stood in a line along the Cow River located in southern Papua New Guinea and took photos shortly before they released the turtles back into the wild, where they'll hopefully get to lead a normal life. Wempi Hutabesi, a local government official, was among the group of men who released the turtles. He described the gentle creatures as an asset to the local community in New Guinea, and he hopes that everyone will be able to ensure that wildlife traffickers never get their hands on the turtles ever again. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.